Beth Edmondson, and uh, she's going to be telling us to uh, to make our mark, not prime mark. So, I mean, by the time you kind of put all these things together, we're going to have just so much stuff coming out of Liverpool. It's going to be amazing. Right, so it's make your mark, not your prime mark. We're talking about clothing customization, uniqueness. I've got that photo of me from quite a while ago up there, because um, that's my first go at clothing customization, the Liverpool final. Yeah, I know, Evertonians, it's Liverpool. But um, all of us can only really afford prime mark, not the designer gear, but that means that you, everybody's wearing the same thing, or you've got things that used to fit and they don't. And of course, reduce, reuse, recycle, it's all trendy at the moment. So these are some ideas, stuff I've done. So I've got a white t-shirt with an ugly mark in the middle, an old vest top that doesn't fit me anymore, made strips, made bows, stitched the bow across, nice top. I can actually wear it now from two garments that I couldn't wear. So, and it, it looks good on me as well as on Dolly there. Um, come on. Buttons, just one of the ones I'm wearing. Um, again, nice white top, it was pretty, but it wasn't very unique. Bag of buttons, I like the scissors ones because being crafty in both senses of the word, suits me. Stitched them all around the neckline, bit more unique, bit more fun. Still a nice top, still suitable for me jeans or for work, but more me, more unique, and I know the buttons aren't purple. As some of you all know me, I have a bit of a thing for purple. So, another idea. I've got a nice top, suitable for daytime. I haven't got any money to buy a new going out top. Sequins. So, I've stitched sequins on the little flowers around the top. And I've bought a strip of sequins. Heck of a lot easier than stitching each one individually. Stitch that down the neckline. Sparkly. Much more suitable for going to the pub now. Which, of course, I like to do quite a bit. Um... Another one, as you can probably notice, I'm tall, I'm five foot nine. I find a lot of the tops finish here. So as soon as I move, I flash my belly at everyone. Not a good look. So an ugly old top that I never really wore, I just liked the pattern. Cut strips, stitched it along the bottom, stitched a ruffle along the top just to balance it out, otherwise it's gonna be drawing the eye just to the hips. Um, and again, another top from two that I didn't really wear into something I can. Now, I find men's t-shirts have the best pictures on. Women's ones tend to be pretty, men's have the funkiest stuff. So we've got old school gamer, um, like one of the earlier talks said. Got one of the books, I've got three books with me tonight. Um, made it into a wrap top, a lot more um, feminine. I wear it as a cardi. You can wear it depending on the size of the top you bought, just as a um, wrap top. You've still got your design, but now it's on the back. I'm also wearing this one. It's, I'm a bit of a Family Guy fan. Stewie from Cl but as Clockwork Orange. Cut up the back, taken the neckline off, created a little um, tube. It's fed ribbon through it, pulled, and I've got a shrug. And again, I've still got my Stewie. It's just this time, it's on the back. Although my hair tends to cover it because it's a tad on the long side. Um, menswear can be customised. It's not all about sequins and sparkle. You've got um, a polo shirt, or you can do it with a V-neck. You've got a crew neck top. So I've cut the neck, cut the arms, cut the bottom, stitched. And there you go. You've got your double layer top that you can pay quite a bit of money in the shops for. And you've used an old top, maybe one that had a hole or a paint stain on. Um, but you've got your double layer look, looking quite cool without actually overheating because you're wearing two tops. Ties. Boring but cheap ties. You want a funky tie, you're going to pay quite a lot in Top Man or wherever men buy their ties from. These ones are quite easy, these little appliques, you iron them on, there you go, heck of a lot more funky. And I'm now actually considering wearing a tie to work because I like the skull and crossbones one quite a lot. Um, you can go for whatever designs you like, just I tend to shop in Abercan quite a lot. 
simplest thing you can do is refashioning your old t-shirt into a shopping bag. Take the arms off, take the neck, neckline off, stitch along the bottom when it's inside out, turn it the right way round and you've got a bag. So that's it. I'm on Mad Scouser. Um, no, I'm on Twitter as Mad Scouser. <laughs> um, tutorials online are brilliant. YouTube is great if you're not already into sewing. And I run a sewing club in Liverpool. I've got a load of leaflets with me. I'm going to follow the person who did it before me and pass them around. Um, we've actually now got a machine, um, and it's um, at the place just across the road. I've also spent this afternoon, much more fun than being at work, made you a load of bags. Now, there might be a few more than 16 people here. Uh, I I'm not good at maths, but I think there is. But I've got 16 here. Um, yeah, you might be advertising Pan 10 a bit. But they're free, you're welcome to one, and you can have a nose. I've also got all the garments with me, so if anybody wants to have a nose, see what I've done. Um, but I'm not taking these two off. Um, give me a shout afterwards. All right. Thank you very much, Beth. Um, and, and she did okay the whole kind of running over a little tiny bit just to kind of talk about her t shirt bags. So if you want a t shirt bag, Go and see Beth and then carry all of the leaflets that everyone else has been giving out back home in the t-shirt bag. It's just win-win. Um, our next speaker is uh, Michael... Uh